Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Metric units of mass include kilograms, grams, liters, and milliliters. They're all metric units of liquid volume. The charge represent the chart shows the relationship between these units. So one kilogram equals a thousand grams. Does anybody remember what our benchmark was for how big a gram might be? Do you remember, fella? It was a dollar. A dollar. Remember a dollar was a gram? So a kilogram would be like a thousand dollars, how much that would weigh. A liter, we had water bottles that were half of a liter or about a liter, or a two liter bottle. Remember we know what a two liter bottle is, half of a two liter bottle. Um, a thousand liters is, I'm sorry, a thousand milliliters equals a liter. So who has a water bottle? Let me see your water bottle. Um, Daniel, bring Rachel's water bottle for me. So this one here says, oh, it's in ounces. Oh, 700 right there. You can kind of see it. 700 milliliters. So is this a liter? Yes. No. How much is it short of being a liter? 300 milliliters. So 1,000 milliliters equals a liter. What about a thousand liters? What do you think? You can get it for. What do you think a thousand liters would equal? Any guesses? Yeah, it would be like a kiloliter. So the the measurements that happen in met in length, volume, and mass all have the same prefix to the word. So we have gram, liter, and metric. Those are our basics. Then we have milligrams milliliters and millimeters. We have kilometers, kilograms, and kiloliters. So they have the same prefix and so you know if it's saying kilo, it's kilo, it's a thousand times the basic unit. If it's saying milla, it's a thousand times less than a, a basic unit. So you can get, so if I, if I threw a word, I've never heard of centigram. But if I threw centigram at you, you would know that a centa is, is a hundredth of a meter. So a centigram would be a hundredth of a gram. And do you guys know what cent means in as a, as a root? Yes. A hundred. A century is a hundred. A penny, which is a cent, is one hundred. Oh, oh, the dollars. A cent, right? A cent is a penny. It's one one hundredth of a dollar. So a cent tells you a hundredth of something. Okay. It means hundred. Anyways, comparing kilograms and grams. Becky planted a flower garden full of blue bonnets. She used nine kilograms of soil. How many grams of soil is that? So she has nine kilograms. We know that a kilogram has a thousand grams in it and so we can just multiply nine times a thousand is nine thousand and this is very similar to what you guys were doing yesterday with length but now we're talking about um, units of mass so Becky used nine thousand grams of soil example two compare liters and milliliters Becky used five liters of water to water her blue bar bonnet garden how many milliliters of water is that? So one liter of water is a thousand milliliters. So five liters of water is how many milliliters? How many? Five thousand. So she used five thousand milliliters of water. It's basically what you did yesterday, only now we're talking about volume of water and we're talking about um, mass. There are three liters of water in a pitcher. How many milliliters of water are in the pitcher? So we will do, there are how many milliliters in one liter? 1,000. Since I am changing from a larger unit to a smaller unit, I can multiply 
3 by 1,000 to find out how much, and there are 3,000, we've already decided, milliliters in 3 liters. So how many would 4 liters be then? 6 kilograms. If one, hold on, if one kilogram equals a thousand grams, how much will six kilograms equal, class? Six thousand grams. 